this activity is to show that different substances they dissolve in different quantities in the water. For this we need test tubes, test tube stand, salt, sugar, spatula, a dropper, test tube holder and water. We'll take a known volume of water in two test tubes. Let's say that it is 1 ml which we have taken. In both the test tubes, we'll take the same quantity of water. Now in the first test tube, we'll take the first solute that is salt, add a spatula of it, and stir it. So you can see that the salt has completely dissolved in water. We'll add more amount of salt in it. If we further add some more quantity of salt, it will not get dissolved in it. Instead it will start settling down. It means that now it has formed a saturated solution with these three spatulas of salt. Keep it back. Take the second test tube. The second solute which we are taking that is sugar. Add two spatulas of sugar and stir it continuously. What we observe here is that the amount of water which is available that is not sufficient to dissolve this much amount of sugar in it. So if we compare the solubility of salt and sugar in both these test tubes, we can say that salt dissolves in more quantity in the same volume of water as compared to sugar. Hence, different substances, they have different solubilities in water.